Excuse me, Mr. Mason. I was hoping he would like spin around in the chair. Hello. <laughs> How funny would that have been? But um, so this is what we're thinking of doing because we just ordered a sound So um, I wish. Oh, do you have your iPad with the stuff brought up? Because it won't be here for what, like a couple weeks. So. Oh, I wanted the one pictures. So we have this is, are the columns and then the scatter blocks. And that's kind of the diagram they give you to go off of it. Is that in focus? There we go. I think all that was out of focus, but whatever. No, well, I did. Actually, I took two pictures on accident. Okay, because this is going to be the making of a home studio part three. Remember we did the other two parts? I remember part one. Yeah, of course. Is that in part two? Yeah, I, part two was actually um, painting. Oh, well, so, then I remember part two, not part one. So this is kind of going to be like the final one. There's going to be other stuff happening to the studio, but not like big, yeah. just new new monitors and stuff like that eventually. But so we got the soundproofing finally in. Like it's been how long? Months. Months and months of waiting. And then I remember because we finally canceled the order. Yeah, and then it came in stock. And then it came in stock. And then when we called them back, it was already out of stock again. So here is the room. Um, I'm mainly doing this so I can hear the room. I think the fact that the soundproofing is already in here, it's actually already kind of like treating the room a little bit. I would hope. <laughs> well, <laughs> so it's probably not an accurate measurement of the reverb in the room, but it's going to really cut down on it. So this is kind of the room beforehand, and then we're going to start hanging that stuff. That's it. I think the first thing we need to do is drill all the holes so you don't have to keep switching drill bits. I think the first thing that we need to do is admire my craftsmanship. But yes, I also agree that's a good idea. But like I said, we were just trying to get the first one down. Okay. So, and there's a blanket on the computer. Boom. Alrighty. You getting the last one ready? Mm -hmm. So now we've got four of the um, panels up. I'm not sure what they're actually called. They're not base traps, but, but yeah. And then here's the fifth one. So this wall will be done. And then I think what we agreed on was two here. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to get you. Two there and probably one there because the wall is not evenly spaced out at all. So I, I think it'll still look fine with the one. <laughs> yeah, no stinking pink cat beds or pink iPads or pink phones allowed in this room. This is a man cave now. Anyways. A man cave? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I did everything in here. <laughs> what? I'm the one who painted. I'm the one who's thinking yeah. uh, all the measuring and the planning you, of the spacing. You painted this wall. I painted that wall and this wall and all of these walls. Well, that wall is not done, so you can't count it. You know what? I think I'm going to think in red takes like four coats of paint. Well, that, yeah, You didn't like, pay me enough for that. Yeah, pay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, anyways, so here is the um, the room so far, it's completed. So we got the acoustic panels, the little diamond, that was my idea. No, um, it was not! <laughs> the spacing, the, see the X spacing? My idea. Gabby thought of diamond, I thought of sweet spacing. So, then we have two right here, and there's actually more that goes back here. And I think we're going to do like that checkerboard thing like you said. Yeah, we're doing that tomorrow though. Yeah, tomorrow, because these things take forever. But it's going to kind of be like boom, 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 boom. That is not helpful. Well, I know. Gonna, did you say something about the checkerboard? Yeah, I said check, it's going to be checkerboard. But I think we have eight panels left. And I, how can we put eight on here? I think we can only fit six. No, because if you think about it, if we do like a row of three, or three might not fit there though. No, I think we'll have to do two. Like one, then a space for one, and then another one. Then we'll do one right in the middle. And then another two. Then, yeah, we gotta go. Oh, and one final thing is uh, the rug. This wasn't in the last one either. So we have the rug and obviously like a new onslaught of guitars, but those will be in later videos. So your foot's in the video. Oh, I made it. Everybody got to see Gabby's foot. I'll slow mo it and pause it on that little scene. Okay, so I wanted to add a little bit to the studio. Well, not, not studio tour. Okay, so I wanted to add a little bit to the studio vlog because we were kind of rushed earlier because um, we needed to go pick Mason up. So we didn't get to have a whole lot of footage because we needed to get as much done as possible today, which is Saturday. 
Um, you, as you can tell, we still have eight of the square panels to hang, and they're actually going to go back here. We still have not finished painting this wall, actually, but you can kind of hear, um, I'm talking a little bit louder, the reverb. You can hear the sounds bouncing off this pretty bad, so that, I think that's going to solve that. And we might need to get something that we can put on this door. The door is pretty hollow, so I'm not sure. That's going to be a glass door eventually, so I guess that really doesn't matter for now. But yeah, so we're going to kind of checkerboard it like I was saying earlier in the, the video. Here's a cool Van Halen, Van Halen, a cool Led Zeppelin picture that was not in the the last vlog that we did about kind of creating the home studio. Um, here's these things. These things take quite a while, but what is kind of cool is they're not heavy. Even the big tall panels, which we don't have our base traps yet. That's why we kind of had, and this looks a little bit goofy right now. I don't think it looks bad or anything, but how there's only one panel right here. It's because we actually have our base traps that are going to go in the corners of the room, which need to go there, and that one's going to have to go over here. So that's why there's only one panel over there, because if we put two, we just have to move it, and then we'd have two holes in the wall that we'd have to fix. So, and you can see we started to put a hole in the wall in the wrong spot. But yeah, these things are super uh, light, but they've already made a huge difference. We were just blaring Paul Gilbert in here, and kind of went into the bedroom to see how um, how loud it was, and you could barely you could hear the kick. That was it. So I think those bass traps will probably even get rid of that. So um, like I said, I'm so excited about all of this stuff because how much better the room, like the echo is completely gone. I think adding the rug and this stuff. Uh, the one thing that you guys won't get to see is this is probably going to change uh, because there's going to be a, a mini fridge because. This way I never have to leave the studio. <laughs> but there's going to be a little mini fridge over here. And that's actually because, uh, well you guys don't know this, but the studio is on the other side of the house where the kitchen is. So at night if I need to be up late recording, I don't have to keep like walking back and forth across the house. And it's not about me being lazy, not wanting to walk. It's about opening doors, lights coming on, you know, this just walking being noisy because I'm like the most unquiet person in the world but yeah that's it and then uh, we're taking these down here soon and the biggest issue that we're honestly having uh, that we need to find a solution to and they're just gonna have to go in there are the cases for the guitars because uh, normally there's cases here cases back here and then cases here so we need to figure out something to do with all these hard shell cases. I'm, I'm actually glad that three of the Chapmans came with gig bags. Those are easy. So you can kind of see, oh, well, I guess you can't see the bases there. But yep, that's the progress so far. So kind of the next phase of the operation is um, I think we're getting some new monitors. These are nice. I like them. You guys saw them in think vlog number one. Uh, they're four and a half. I think I'm going to use them more as like a portable. Uh, they're definitely good on the on the highs. They uh, they don't really give you too much depth as far as the lows go. Uh, they they do give you some, but not as you know high quality as something as the HR8 Yamahas that I'm going to get. So I, I think I'm going to go with the sevens. I went to Guitar Center Evil Evil Guitar Center. And I tried out the the eights and the sevens with one of the studio engineers there, and uh, the sevens killed the eights, and especially in this little room. You can see um, it's hard to get a, a real good vibe for the room. The room's tiny, but in pictures and videos, it makes it look really small. So it's definitely not like it's not itty bitty by any means, but it's not like a huge Keith Marrow studio or something like that. Like his new one is like ginormous but that's it I'm gonna end the video there so this is probably this is the last studio vlog that we're gonna do because this is the last like real big thing that we're adding the rest is gonna be like I said the Yamaha speakers um, probably like superior drummer just stuff like that uh, and then more like other things like the glass door uh, taking that door down turning it and soundproofing that more like an isolation chamber uh, for vocals and stuff like that. So that is it. Thank you for watching. And if I had a guitar plugged in, all the cables are gone right now. But um, I will see you guys next time. Peace out and have a good weekend.